If you can jump out of an aircraft and land safely on the drop zone, you can pretty much do anything in your military career. It's the third and final phase of airborne school, jump week, and these students are ready to put their training into action and exit aircraft. They're excited from the day they get here until they finally get out and jump. I mean, it, it is the graduation culmination uh, part of the course. You know, it's what they came here for. You know, on jump one, uh, there's a lot of apprehension with the student. You know, I try to go through the harness shed and uh, walk through and say, hey, you know, how's it going? Um, you know, get a feel for where everybody's at. You know, some people are excited, fired up, and ready to go, and uh, some people are kind of questioning about what they signed up for. Um, so it, it's always a good time. First thing Monday morning during jump week, the students will don their parachutes, get JMPI'd, and load onto the birds. They'll fly 1,250 feet over Friar Drop Zone, and then it's go time. Everybody's excited, they're ready to go, and those doors open up, and the eyes get big, you know, get big. <laughs> Really, really big, and now, and now it's time to go. They now, they now know it is time to jump out. The first jump is really intense. It's, you don't really know what to expect, and you don't know what's going on, and you got all these things running through your head. But bottom line, whenever they call 30 seconds, is whenever my drone really starts pumping. That last call before you start going, before the guy gets the slap, decides to head out, and then once you start shuffling forward, you just make eye contact with that guy, and he's usually sitting there smiling back at you because he knows what you're going through. So it's really intense. Yeah, it's great. The students will conduct five jumps this week, two Hollywood style without their gear, one of those with the new T-11 parachute, and three combat jumps with all their equipment, the last being at night. You know, it's always the fear of the unknown, uh, the first night jump, uh, so they're a little bit anxious, I guess you could say, uh, but all of them are confident in their training. It's really the way we intend to, if we're gonna do airborne operations, uh, gain some surprise against the enemy by inserting at night. Airborne training instills the warrior ethos in students, which builds their confidence and shows them that they can accomplish anything. The fear of jumping out of a plane is much like being in a, a gunfight or a firefight for the first time. You are looking fear in the eye and you're dealing with it, and you're dealing with it in such a way that you're taking control of your fears, taking control of the situations, and you're mastering it. And it will help them considerably when they go to combat. It helped me. The 507th Parachute Infantry Regiment not only builds better warriors, but it also provides the United States military with a more capable fighting force. It all boils down to capability. Do we do it every day in hostile territory? No, but it is a deterrent. A brigade combat team being able to deliver 800 to 1,000 paratroopers in somebody's backyard at a moment's notice, that is a deterrent. Once the night jump is complete, the students will have earned their wings and it's on to graduation. It's good. I'm, I, I have a lot of buddies that have done it and it's good to finally join the ranks of being airborne qualified. I'm excited about it. It's going to be a good day today. It's a good start to a day. Pull those risers deep in your chest, airborne, and then execute a dynamic fluid parachute landing fall. The students have successfully completed the three-week airborne course here at Fort Benning, have earned their wings, and are now America's newest class of proud paratroopers.